California did anything like way worse than any other state. I mean, people are mad if he opens things, people are mad if he closes things. Even here you get different views. Um, I agree. I mean, some things are totally ridiculous, like the curfew. You shouldn't have, like, it made no sense. Uh, closing beaches doesn't seem for, to make for, for, for all the non-Californians listening, what is, what is the curfew? Well, in the beginning of the pandemic, there was actually a curfew. You couldn't leave your house after, I think it was like 6 p.m. or something. And it just made no sense. In fact, it'd be better if people spread out time-wise. Like, you know, grocery stores that used to be open 24 hours were now open like six hours a day and everyone's waiting in line all shoved in together. And, and a lot of it, yeah, at the beginning, people didn't really know what to do. And then, um, you know, so people were upset with Newsom. Um, and then, you know, he went to that restaurant and everyone thought that was very hypocritical. He was telling people not to go out. And, and that was obviously a major mistake on his part politically. The, the, the French laundry debacle, the picture scene uh, right. across the world. Now, it's not the worst thing anyone's ever done, obviously. I mean, but the, the right wing was really able to use that. And just the fact go China, Sri Lanka, than we do with a billionaire in the United States. And that's what I fight for is that workers here in the United States have far more in common with workers in Mexico, China, Sri Lanka than we do with a billionaire in the United States. And so I'm looking to rally workers across the entire globe uh, uh, to end the pandemic. To, uh, I mean, we have to be honest, capitalism has failed to contain the pandemic. The option was there and the decision was made at high levels in governments across Europe and North America that they would allow this to rip through the population. And some of them very cynically, very darkly, there's actually a think tank piece from Britain that said this, it's actually going to be a long-term boon to the economy because it's mostly killing retired people. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden you get pension funds that are solvent again, all of a sudden you get reduced health care costs, and there are some ghouls that really believe that in terms of government. Uh, so, for example, you brought up things like climate change, and yeah, absolutely, California can continue to do all the environmental policies at once, but as long as the rest of the world uh, continues to pump out, you know, greenhouse gases, continues uh, to engage in, you know, large-scale industrial extraction of resources, things that are actually needed for things like batteries for electric cars. I mean, environmental destruction, by and large, isn't going away. It's shifting into another form of environmental destruction. And California, as a significant international player, needs to be a part of that dialogue instead of simply just being the subunit of the policies of the United States. Uh, and I think where, where that actually comes most starkly is what David was talking about uh, and what you were addressing in terms of so-called, you know, island nations uh, being able to protect their borders more. I mean, no matter what the United States did, California was always going to be taking in people, could not legally prevent the move. I think that's part of that's one of the main goals of the California National Party is you know no uh, no, no no disrespect to the the other two people on this call but when it comes to socialist equality or the Green Party you kind of either ideologically agree with them or you don't um, you're either it's kind of a, you're on a side or you're not and part of the thing about the California National Party is because it is only about California it allows us to craft policy and messaging that's geared towards specific California voters. So, for example, when we say automatic Medi-Cal enrollment for all Californians, if I need to go to Berkeley and sell that as healthcare is a human right, and I have to go to Inyo County and sell that as grandma shouldn't die horribly of cancer just because she doesn't have insurance, I still get the same policy at the end, which is automatic Medi-Cal enrollment for all Californians. It's a messaging the red and blue dynamic might be to say vote green. So I want to give Dan an opportunity to respond to this idea, you know, put forward, you know, is the Green Party unable to reach voters because of its brand, quote unquote, brand problem, um, even if there's an ideological alignment? Because that's a critique that I've heard of other independent party efforts like NPP. Yeah, well, first of all, I don't speak for all Greens, but I don't think we'd have a problem arguing to anyone that their grandmother shouldn't die. I think most Greens would agree with that. So I, don't, I think we could reach anybody with that argument uh, in addition to, you know, universal health care. Um, pretty much, and I, we obviously as a Green Party would want the best firefighting efforts. I don't really think it's, uh, I don't think it's this cutting edge idea that, that you can 
because for Californians, I, I agree there might be some Republicans who are never going to vote Green or never going to vote Democratic and vice versa. But um, and I don't understand, is, is the California National Party, is that a secessionist party? I mean, our okay. ultimate goal is independent for California, okay. but our general well, premise is policies that are best for California. That's okay, well, I'm against, I'm against the secession movement of California. Um, and just take one example. I know it's sort of off topic, off topic, but you're talking about uh, the environment. So, yeah, so California can have these great environmental policies, which we could do anyway as a state. And then all of a sudden you have the, the rest of the United States, which is more likely going to head right the right direction because now you don't have the biggest uh, number of electoral college votes in California. And all of a sudden the, the rest of the United States, which can cause a lot more pollution, can, uh, is now going to be more uh, environmental unfriendly. So I don't really, and that's just one example.